But if you put two magnets together, as we said, there's a force between them, okay? But the force between a wire and a permanent magnet, right, is found by everybody's favorite bit of GCSE physics, the left hand rule. So here's a wire, and a crucial thing to understand about this is that the dot in the middle tells you that the current is coming out of the board towards you. If you arrange your left hand, so your first finger, try it now, must use your left hand, that's why it's called the left hand rule. Your first finger needs to be pointing in the direction of the magnetic field, so that's left to right in this diagram. Your second finger needs to be coming out of the board because the current's coming towards you, and that leaves your thumb hopefully pointing upwards. Just try that and check that you actually get the force going upwards. That's a fairly natural position for your left hand to be in. Okay. But imagine you had two. So imagine this is the one we've just done. But imagine we had another wire. And the other wire was going to war. Uh, sorry, the current was going away from you. This cross, it's kind of like a dart where the flights are indicated by the cross. So that's a dart going away from you. This is a dart that's going to hit you with a point coming towards you. So what you need to do is to take your left hand and keep your first finger pointing from left to right but take your second finger and point it away from you and you should find that makes your thumb point downwards we've already said on this one your thumb points upwards okay so if the current's going in the opposite direction the force is also in the opposite direction so think about what happens okay if that's a coil of wire and we've got the current going away from you on one side and towards you on the other side how can we use that? Well, that's basically a motor, isn't it? So here's our animation of a motor. I can make it turn. Okay, what you'll notice is, if I pause it there, on this side the current's coming towards you, that gives you a force which is up. On this side the current's going away from you, that makes the force go down. If we let it do half a turn, okay, it looks exactly the same. Because of this part of the motor, Okay, what's happening here is this is switching over. So we'll always find the current is coming towards us on this side and going away from us on this side. However many times it turns around, it flicks over. We can put the magnetic field on just to show that's going across this way. Okay, but the crucial thing is the forces switch over. You'll notice that when it's right at the top, okay, the force will disappear if we just let it form a little bit, uh, go turn a little bit further because the current here is not actually cutting through the field line. So just there it disappears and swaps around and goes the other way. So that's how a simple DC motor works.